practice online. The eight day program that helps us uh, upgrade our frequency, align our vibration, clear and harmonize our chakras and go into a lighter diet and pranic nourishment. Tonight we're having a beautiful time together and uh, we're talking about how to upgrade your body. We're talking about how to treat your body like a temple and um, take it to the maximum potential. We, are, we were having uh, a lot of talks with people uh, today on this subject and we also talked a lot during the last few weeks because it's a very important topic lately, especially given the current global situation that prompts us to basically have much better care of our bodies. So who here is agreeing that our bodies are getting upgraded but also challenged in this time? Did you notice any changed in your changes in your body? Did you notice maybe the need of rest more, sleep more, detox more during the past few weeks or even months? All these are changes uh, that are happening because the energy on the planet is changing because there's a lot of planetary heaviness that we need to process given the current situation the emotions and fears of people given the a lot of, of, of people you know losing or changing their jobs their financial status their um, relationship status and so on it's really really uh, a lot of cluttered emotions that are um, streaming through uh, the system of many people and therefore um, many are feeling now to to rest more or they are feeling that they're processing something heavier something difficult even in some cases they're um, internal organs sometimes feel tensed you know i've heard people having liver or uh, kidneys uh, being really challenged or digestive system just because now it's really the old energy on the planet is much more intense but as well because there's so much so intense in a good way i mean intense in a way that uh, beautiful pranic vibes or beautiful sun uh, energy is coming on the planet but also because there is uh, a lot of um, there's also a lot of toxicity emotional toxicity on the planet as well so these two things are basically mixing up in the system of many people and so they many people now feel overwhelmed um, as well as their uh, your eating habits somebody here says eating is overrated i wouldn't necessarily call it overrated if, but if i if i'm to think about it yes you're right it's true that people are overeating eating much too much and eating much more than they need uh, eating much heavier than they need and they treat their bodies in ways that they they shouldn't be uh, you know treating them in terms of the quality of the fuel that you put in your body you either respect your body and give it the best fuel possible or you uh, mess up with your body and give it the worst fuel possible like, like fast food junk food and then you can't expect it to fun for it to function uh, harmoniously because your body is like a car or a biocomputer and uh, if you put in the best energy you get the best results with it or in the if, if the put if you put in the heaviest or worst fuel then you should expect the worst results because any machinery if you don't fuel it correctly it will break down right so the first aspect of the topic of tonight of treating your body like a temple or getting you know your body to upgrade and getting your body at its 
its maximum potential. Uh, the first step is the diet. Of course, I always talk about the diet. I always talk about the fuel you're consuming. I always talk about food choices because they're the primary material that we use when we um, form our cells and or uh, and we reshape our internal organs keep in mind that your body is changing every plunk second every minute your your cells are getting renewed every uh, week you have a new skin every couple of years you have a new liver so it's important for you to understand that this newness could be uh, something much better and something much healthier if you help it to upgrade right if you keep doing the same things you can't have different results so if you want to have a different body and different cells being renewed then you have to be doing different things to your body <laughs> that's the first step right give it the different food the different fuel give it an upgraded um, food that is natural that's organic that's raw and un unprocessed and you'll see that your body will function differently will function at its maximum potential don't shy away to not give it food <laughs> also try intermittent fasting try juices instead of you know, and and smoothies instead of solid fuel fuel and see how it will uh, react because after you detoxify your body um, and you declutter your digestive system and your colon, your body will end up functioning much, much better on liquid food or very light diet than on solid food and junk food. It's a natural thing that's happening due to upgrading your body's frequency. And then the cravings and the overeating just naturally disappear when you take off the baggage, when you take off the heaviness of it. So that's basically the first step of upgrading your body and thank you so much for your feedback i see uh, somebody saying thanks for your timely message somebody says i love that i'm loving that we have a dialogue here ask your questions on this topic if you have any or add any comments that you like um, because it's uh, it's important that we communicate and um, we collaborate on this webinar so that we bring the best of it. I'm not one that just um, recites <laughs> information. I prefer to um, tell you exactly what you need to hear and answer your questions. And that's making it interactive and useful and bringing the best of it. The ones on Facebook and Instagram, we're only going to have this sharing for about 30 minutes of this webinar. The webinar is about one hour and a half in total. It is part of an eight day process called the Pranic Process Online. We do it since 2013, so for eight years. If you feel called to join this process, click the link in bio if you're on Insta or the link in the comments if you're on uh, Facebook and you have uh, all the information there of how to join either this day in full or the full eight days of um, sharing because it's much much better result to have uh, the full webinar and to have the meditation that we do at the end because each evening we do a pranic meditation with um, beautiful downloading energies that are clearing, realigning, and harmonizing our systems, reprogramming our body and our auric field, and we upgrade the whole uh, system with this pranic meditation each evening. So when you participate to the whole program, you basically get access to eight powerful guided meditations and um, one hour and a half per day of solid beautiful information techniques and practices to upgrade your frequency attain a pranic state and maintain a high vibration in these times of change so if you were to type in the comments what was the most challenging thing that you've been confronted with during this time you know especially body wise what was the heaviest or most challenging thing that you've 
uh, experienced, especially when you try to maybe lighten up your diet. I mean, comments. To put it in a different way, when you try to fast or lighten up your diet, what happened? That is it that you succeeded, or is it that you maybe had to postpone or stop your uh, fasting or fasting or pranic exercise? I would love to know that so that we can start from there. Also, we have a pranic process one-on-one -on -one of seven, seven sessions where we work individually with each person and we help them understand and see what their blockages and traumas might be that are not allowing prana to, fl to flow harmoniously. And in these uh, sessions that are one-on-one -on -one, um, in total of seven sessions, you discover a lot about yourself and you shed a lot of layers that are no longer useful for you. So yeah, my phone just wanted to, <laughs> my phone wanted to go to sleep. <laughs> so now it's, uh, it's good to go. So yes, um, this is another option of a pranic process. We do the live one that is in group sessions and we do the individual one-on-one -on -one sessions that are really, really powerful, tailor-made for you. I love to share the, these things with people and I've been doing so for more than eight years just because it opens up new gateways and new ways of understanding our bodies. When you really understand and see and start to tune into your body, uh, you finally feel at home on this planet. Really because the first home and the one that you're never leaving for good until you're leaving for good <laughs> is your physical body. You know, it's uh, the vessel or the... Um, gateway through which you experience humanity it's the very space through which you manifest your uh, wishes thoughts emotions and desires so it's your gateway to manifestation as well the better you treat it and nourish it the more you have um you know, success in your manifestation and in your life, basically, because most blockages in people's lives come from two places. One, the energy system, which is already known and everybody talks about it. And we, we talk about the chakras and also the subconscious. And we talk about how subconscious is influencing your life or how emotions are influencing your life. We, this is well known. But what's not so often said and really, really important is that your physical body is the very vessel that transforms your reality and makes it manifest in a beautiful way or in a not so, so harmonious way. So for example, if you have health issues or certain blockages in certain areas, you might notice that your life in certain areas is feeling blocked as well. And sometimes when a person is um, healing their own bodies or resolving these blockages in their own body, their life is unstucking as well because your life is the expression of your physical manifestation through your cells, organs, and physical body. Does this make sense to you or feels a little far-fetched? You know, many people would say, what's the connection? Was there any connection between the body and my work? I don't see any connection between the body and my work between my physical body and my relationships. I don't see any connection between my physical body and my abundance. What does it have to do if I have stomach aches with the fact that I can't manifest a lot of trusting relationships? Well, it does actually, because I'll put it simple. If you're ill, you, can get to, you can't get to work, therefore you can't manifest good career and abundance. That's the basics <laughs> you know the, the the raw version of it but there's more subtle very subtle very refined levels of this understanding um, that um, have to do with uh, more uh, deeper understanding of manifestation uh, through which you understand basically 
that uh, everything circulates in your body, everything flows up and down, everything in your body is the expression of, of a certain flow of energy or the expression of a certain flow of prana. And the way prana circulates through your body is the same way it circulates through your life, right? So the two are influencing each other. If you have a situation in your life that's recurring like a pattern, it will uh, generate a certain pattern in your body, in even a certain illness. Also the other way around, if you have a certain blockage in your body, like a cluttered colon or a or a tired liver, it will result eventually in a blockage in your life, like a stuck career or 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 or, or sexuality does not functioning harmoniously, and so on. These are very very much interconnected. You cannot neglect one and hope that the other will go just fine. So when I tell people to take care of their bodies and they focus, and the paradox in this world is actually that we, we tell people to take care of their bodies and they're taking care of their careers or their, their, their jobs much more and they're damaging their body in the process. And it would be best the other way around. If you wanna have a good career, if you have, wanna have success in your office or in your business life, you should start with the way your energy circulates in you. You shouldn't start to more with more work hours or more extra tasks or more things to take at home to resolve you know in your spare time that will not uh, heal your career or uh, relationship the first thing to do is to take care of your body and to give yourself the energy and the power to be more focused at your job right when you have a health issue or something malfunctioning in your body it will affect your job for sure, even if you don't notice, even if you don't make the connection between the two, even if it seems untrue right now for some because you haven't been used to pay attention to your body, it is for sure very problematic in your relationships and in your career and abundance flow when your body is not healthy or fully, um, how to say, fully aligned energetically. So if you were thinking to postpone your energy work and your body health, uh, until you get richer or until you get your career straight, I would very much invite you to look at the connection that I referred to, right? Because many people say, I will take on meditation or I will take on body work or, or exercise when I have the time. And I say, what, what are you doing now? Why aren't you having time? Well, now I'm working because I have to make money because I have to blah, 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 blah. And I say, well, by the time you will decide to take care of yourself, you might not have any money at all because if your body keeps going in that direction, the whole things in your life might be blocked, right? I know this is a powerful message. I know this is not easy to uh, take, but take it with a grain of salt and try to do something about it if you feel that something this is for you, right? I've seen many business people, many people that are really preoccupied in social success, overdoing it, overachieving, overworking, uh, not to give, paying any attention to their emotions, to their mental streams, and to their physical health. You know, eating whatever, drinking lots of coffee, smoking if they can, not doing any exercise, wearing clothes that are way too tight, especially women, and somehow they are hoping to take this to the next level in their career without paying any attention to their physical aspect. This is surprising to me and uh, I know that we haven't reached as humanity to the stage to you know see con the connection between everything, but I know that it is as well necessary that we get there and that we take care of ourselves first because everything streams through ourselves right <laughs> does this make sense there's nothing that streams outside of yourself that's not streaming through yourself right everything in your life in your career in your family in your relationships in your sexuality in your abundance is the result of the energy that you manage to circulate through your physical body so 
Is this any new to you? Is this something that is surprising or far-fetched to some? How do you feel about this? Because I always say this and I keep repeating this. This has been my life. I've learned it on my own skin. Now I want to know how you resonate with it and if you have any questions about it because we'll be together for about 10 more minutes before we complete the live on Insta and um, Facebook. Anyone on Facebook have any, any questions or wanting to be in the full class? Because we're going to share powerful meditations tonight and body programming where we actually teach our body to do some different and upgrading things uh, different than what it's doing now in terms of how it's nourishing itself, in terms of how it's functioning. And also I would love to know in your comments, first, if you resonate with this and if it makes sense. And second, I would love to know where are you from? <laughs> like the area, Italy and France and uh, whatever you're coming from. Like um, That's why I see people saying it makes a lot of sense. Thank you. It makes it's a timely message. I love that you resonate with it. Also, I would love to know what else you're resonating with in terms of questions. What would you like to know? Because these are the 10 last minutes of this live. We go then with the participants to the class and would love to basically offer you some um, information that is directly interesting for you. In my life, I've had a successful career for a while when I was uh, in business and corporate, right? I started when I was 19. I started to work at 17, in fact, but I um, started to, to have a full-time job when I was uh, a full-time job and a full-time uh, study um, time when I was... 19 in my first year of university so in that time I was already getting myself exhausted by going to both things university time and a job from 8 to 5 or 8 to 6 it was challenging I had to study at night I had to push myself way above and beyond my limits to be able to be successful at both then I started my management career as soon as I finished university I worked in corporate, in big corporations, like the ones making the Milka chocolate and the ones making the Kinder eggs. That was my life back then. And yes, it was money <coughs> going around, but it was also a lot of stress and tiredness. And I wasn't aware back then of the power and importance of treating my body better. So I would have more than 16 work hours per day. I wouldn't take any holidays. I wouldn't take any days off. I would work constantly for three years straight without any break until my body decided to break <laughs> at some point, right? Yes, my career was going up, but my health and general uh, well-being was going down, way, way down. and. Even though that wasn't reflecting necessarily in my career, which was advancing, it was reflecting, however, in my relationships and family life because I was never home. I was never ready to, um, you know, be kind and compassionate because I was always on the go. And uh, I wasn't really having much um, affection to give or to receive, that, which was, you know, burdening me on the other uh, levels right and as well my career to be honest was not at its maximum maximum potential it was a good potential it was successful but I'm knowing for sure that if my body and mind state would be health would have been healthier I would have been at a much higher level of abundance and success in that type of career then I started to uh, look at my life at some point when I was 28 and I started to evaluate the rate of um, the rate at which I was working and the kind of money I was making and the kind of well-being that I was having and I had to be honest to, to myself and quit my good managing job what, just because I felt my maximum potential wasn't reached even though I had a good safety net there. 
and I also felt I was you know like driving with the brake pulled on you know you were you are when you're driving and hitting the brake at the same time you're not driving too far <laughs> and you're not driving too fast it's like not really driving well so I had to admit that to myself and in the year of uh, financial crisis which was 2010 I believe I quit my job as a manager and I founded my own company just to be able to manage my own clients and my own money the way I wanted and to have as well time for the activities that were interesting and important for me like self-healing the classes that you see back here the meditations that i started to take on at 27 the diet changes that i wanted to have and you know to have more freedom everybody said i was crazy everybody said it would be a bad decision to quit a managing job at that age and in that social financial context and would be crazy to found its own company yet i did it because i felt guided to and in truth the minute i started to taking better care of myself and to pay attention to my inner work and to my diet and to i, I quit all animal products and started detoxing and started meditating a lot i had to notice that my financial and career situation went like through the roof compared to uh, the previous years so i was starting to really really hit it off <laughs> the surprising thing was that even though i was having success financially and much more uh, freedom and um, abundance than before than when i was in my full-time full-time job I was feeling still that I'm not reaching my highest potential. The more I detoxed my body, the more I cleansed my mind, the more I filtered through my emotions, I was realizing that the career that I picked was not what I came here to do. So just to organize events for medical companies back then, it was not my best version of presenting myself into the world. <laughs> So again, after a few years, after three years of meditation and self-healing and decluttering, I stopped the events company and the activity that I was doing before. I moved to a different city and I started therapy and conferencing and book writing from scratch without even thinking of what it means financially or how will I earn anything or how it functions. Just because my heart and my body wanted to live that experience instead of the experience of being in an office and talking to clients all day long about businesses and events so sometimes in life your body declutters and when your body and your mind is clearer and your emotions are firmer and then you can see along your path what is it that you really came to do here but for that, you have to have a clear body, clear mind. So how many of you would, you would be interested in, you know, really following your life path and bringing your gift into the world? How many of you would be interested to know exactly and clearly what you came to do and then go do it? <laughs> how many of you would like that? then it's the highest fulfillment for your vibration the more you go do what you are here to do or be be is an important word the more you stream happiness and good vibes through your body and again it's all connected the more you declutter your body the more you can follow your own path and the more you follow your path the more your body is healthy and happy and streaming good good prana through it so you see there's everything intercorrelated I will talk to you tomorrow more about how to bring your gift into the world and how to find your path and how to find your highest best version of yourself to present to the world in your jobs and you know whatever it is that you're manifesting basically not everybody has to have a job like a full-time job or a nine-to-five job you can do 
fun work and get paid for it or you can do you and get paid for it or you can do whatever makes your heart sing like I'm doing now and get paid for it and that's okay and normal and it's the new normal in this world that we're all beginning now to learn but about that tomorrow evening and if you want to continue in this webinar specifically with us for the full um, hour of power and the meditation at the end just type yes in the comments we'll include you in the video uh, on, on zoom or youtube and then you can make the payments and go with the other webinars that we have because it's eight webinars in total a full eight-day program the, called the pranic process online and for those of you who are asking yourselves there is a link in bio on instagram where you find the pranic process online and on facebook it's in the comments so looking forward to seeing you in a full webinar and full class and until then many blessings and much love and treat your body like a temple because it's actually the only house that you'll never leave until you leave so it's good to keep it harmonious till then blessings see you soon